Welcome. Today we are doing a 30 minute no jumping full body strength routine where you are going to tone up upper body, lower body, and core. All you need is your body, a mat, and a set of dumbbells or canned goods, and let's get to it. If you are brand new to my channel, welcome. My name is Jenny J. I'm an online health and fitness coach, and my mission is to help you get fit so that you can live a healthy, happy, and confident life. And in this workout, we're gonna be doing six total exercises, 45 seconds on the clock with about a 15 second rest and transition in between. Once we get through all six exercises, we'll repeat from the very top for a total of three rounds. As always, go at your own pace and make sure to have a water and towel handy. Let's get into the workout. Now, before we get into it, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and hit that notification bell so that you get notified every single time I go live or post a new workout video. Let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. Let's bring those feet nice and wide. Three big deep breaths. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, let it go. Again, inhale, hands up. Exhale, let it go. And last one, inhale, hands up. And exhale, let it go. Good, let's bring those feet about shoulder distance apart. We're gonna warm up the legs and go into body weight squats. So you can bring those hands to heart center, drop those hips back and down as if you're sitting in a chair. Keep those knees in line with your toes. And then as you come up, squeeze those glutes, press the hips forward. We're here for 10 and nine, eight, seven, keeping that chest open, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, let's go into easy side-to-side -side rotations, warming up the torso, and making sure that you are twisting from those hips, knees, and ankles, making sure that your body is in one unit. We don't wanna tweak our knees out when we're doing this. Start connecting to those abs. So press your belly button into your spine. You should feel that nice deep twist in those oblique muscles. Good. All right, from here, let's bring those feet about shoulder distance. Go into some big arm circles, bringing those hands up to the sky, opening up the chest, getting those shoulders nice and warm. Awesome, reverse, switch. We have a lot of compound exercises today, which means we're gonna be using multiple body parts so that we can get the best, most efficient workout in just 30 minutes. Good. Heels in, toes out, feet outside shoulder distance. We're gonna go into wide squats, getting into the inner thighs and outer glutes. Press those knees out so that they're in line with the toes and then come up, squeeze those inner thighs. We're here for a 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna warm up the core. Let's head down to the floor. We got some dead bugs and then we'll go ahead and get working. So you're going to stack the knees right on top of those hips, nice flat back on the floor, arms extended above the shoulders. From here, you're gonna drop that right arm and left leg at the same time, let it hover maybe one or two inches. And then you're going to move through molasses nice and slow as you warm up the core muscles, which wrap around your entire torso. You wanna make sure that your low back stays planted on the mat. If you notice it creeping up, simply lift those legs a little bit higher to close the gap or reduce the range of motion. Make sure that those knees are slightly bent. We're here for five, four, three, two, and one. Good, let's hug those knees in, give it a nice squeeze, and roll on up. Let's go ahead and get ready for the workout today. So again, six exercises, 45 seconds on the clock, followed by that 15 second transition. We're gonna start off with a squat with a rotating alternating shoulder press. So what that looks like is feet shoulder distance, dumbbells are loaded at the shoulders. You're gonna drop down into your squat nice and low here. As you come up, rotate from the hips, pressing that dumbbell straight up to the sky, come back to center, squat and rotate and press. Getting your upper body, your abs, and your lower body working all at the same time. So let's go ahead and take off. We have 45 seconds on the clock in three, two, one. Let's go bring it down 
and up, down and up. Now, depending on your hip flexibility, your knees, you might not be able to go as low as me and that's okay. Your goal is to go at your deepest range of motion with good form. So if you notice that your knee is feeling off or anything feels funky, please go ahead and reduce that range of motion and you can just come down halfway. Shoot that dumbbell straight up to the sky. Bicep is right next to the ears. And you're connecting with your abs every single time that you twist and rotate. Last one. Good. All right, next exercise, we're gonna go into a reverse lunge with a bicep curl. So starting with feet together, shoulders stacked on top of hips, you're gonna take a big step, reverse lunge, bending both knees. At the bottom of your lunge, bicep curl. Dumbbells to shoulders, come back, and then switch other side. All right, 45 seconds of work. We start in three, two, one, let's go. Bring it down, curl, reset, and stand. Getting into our thighs, our biceps, and our core is always on because we are trying to stabilize our body. If you feel like you're having trouble with your balance, stare at one speck on the wall in front of you and make sure that your feet are on two different railroad tracks. So they should be semi apart. They should not be right in line with each other. Make sure you're bending that back knee as low as you can and then stacking those shoulders right on top of those hips. This is your last one and rest. Great. All right, going into our wide squat, heels in, toes out, feet outside shoulder distance, palms are facing in. We got a wide squat here, so we come down. On the way up, upright row. Dumbbells come to the chest, elbows high and wide, and then we come right back into it. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. Down and up. Now every single time I do this upright row, I want you to think about outlining your rib cage with the dumbbells. So they slightly curve out. And then you wanna make sure that those elbows are higher than the wrists. Common mistake I see is doing this. The wrists come up and the elbows stay down. So we want to make sure that we're pulling our elbows high as if we're attached to a string and we're like a puppet. This is getting into our inner thighs, our outer glutes, and our shoulders. Last one, rest. Awesome. From here, we're gonna go into a hip hinge. We have a low row to a tricep kickback. So hip hinge position, feet shoulder distance, soft knees, hinge from those hips, find a flat back at 45 degrees. Dumbbells are hanging down. From here, you're gonna row the dumbbells to the rib cage, squeezing the back muscles. Press those dumbbells back behind you for a tricep kickback. Come back to the rib cage and then release down. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. Row, kick it, and return. Now common mistakes here is I see the shoulders rounding and the chest closed like this, right? This is not doing any good, okay? So make sure you keep that chest open. Slowly bring those dumbbells back into the body. And make sure that your low back is supported by keeping the core engaged. Booty should be engaged as well. Same with your quads. Eyes are also looking down. This is your last one, and rest. Awesome. All right, we're heading down to the floor. We have two more exercises. Coming up, we have a hip bridge and a chest press at the same time. So come to the bottom of your chest press. Elbows are at a 90 degree angle. As you press the dumbbells straight up, 
you're going to press those hips up, squeeze the glutes, and then come back down at the same time. So getting our glutes and our chest double whammy. In three, two, one, let's go. We press it up and then slowly bring it down. Now every single time you press those hips up, think about driving into those heels. Keep those knees about shoulder distance apart. And then slightly tuck that pelvis under. So you should not be feeling any pain in your low back. If you are feeling pain, give your pelvis a nice tuck. You don't have to go as high. Engage with those glutes. Squeeze those butt cheeks together. Awesome job, keep going. Last one here and rest. Awesome. All right, last exercise. We're gonna go into a seated torso rotation, focusing on those oblique muscles. So I'm gonna bring both dumbbells at my chest, sitting up nice and tall, leaning back about 45 degrees. I'm gonna keep these dumbbells connected to my chest as I rotate my torso to the right, back to center, and to the left. What I don't wanna see is this. Okay, like torso not moving, just dumbbells coming side to side. We gotta actually twist our body. Here we go, in three, two, one. Let's go, bring it side and side. So notice how slow and intentional I'm going. That's how I want you to do this exercise too. So many times people are doing Russian twists and they're like throwing their bodies around, but that's not really doing anything, okay? Sometimes slower is better. And depending on your fitness level, you can make this more challenging by leaning back further, or you can make this less challenging by sitting a little bit more upright. So I want you to do what works for you. You have a few more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Awesome job. Hey, that's your circuit. Go ahead, grab a quick sip of water, towel down if you need it, and we will go ahead and take off into our second round. Now that you know the exercises, it's a good opportunity for you to ask yourself, was that easy, was that hard, or was that just right? If it was too easy, consider leveling up the weight, making it a little bit more challenging for you. If it was too hard, scale down the weight, and if it was just right, Let's keep that weight, all right? So first exercise, we have our squat with our alternating, rotating shoulder press. Lots of things moving. Here we go. In three, two, one, let's go. Drop it down and rotate up. Now doing compound movements like this is going to help you increase your calorie burn it's gonna help make your workouts more efficient and you're able to tackle more muscle groups all at the same time. I love full body training. It's such a great way to boost your metabolism, tone up your body, build lean muscle. Great work, keep it up. Nice, slow and controlled. and rest. Great work. Let's go into our reverse lunge with our alternating bicep curls. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. Now your challenge is to drop that back knee as low as you can, creating a 90 degree angle in both legs. Keep those biceps, or elbows rather, locked into the rib cage. Feeling those thighs burn out. Keeping that chest nice and proud, opening up the shoulders. Eyes are just looking straight ahead. You're not looking at the floor. Stay focused on the work that you're doing. One more, please and rest. 
Nice work. We're gonna go ahead and go into our wide squat with our upright row. Inner thighs, outer glutes, shoulders, and three, two, one. Let's go down and up. Again, outlining that rib cage, taking a quick peek at your knee to toe alignment, making sure that those knees aren't caving in. And keeping that chest open. So many times I see this. Ugh, not good. You're not a gorilla. You are not a gorilla. <laughs> Try to get a little bit lower in that squat. Driving into those heels. Beautiful. And you're breathing, last one. And rest, nice work. Let's go into our row to our tricep kickback. So hinging from those hips, making sure that those legs are engaged, core is on in three, two, one. Let's go, row, kick, come back, and reset. I want those triceps to tremble on the way in. So how we do that is to slow it down when it comes back to the rib cage. This means you're resisting gravity. You're really building strength in that part. Okay, so don't swing it back in, control it back in. And don't forget, eyes are looking down. Your neck is part of your vertebrae. So if you're cranking your neck, you're out of alignment. Keep going. Last one here. And rest. Nice job. Let's head down to the floor. We have our hip bridge and chest press. So let's bring those heels as close as we can to the glutes starting at the bottom of your chest press in three, two, one. Let's go, squeeze those hips up, come back down. Dumbbells are coming straight above the shoulders. Now when you focus on total body training, you are boosting your resting metabolic rate. So basically when you're sitting down, when you're sleeping, when you're driving your car, you're able to burn more calories during that time. How cool is that? So by adding strength training to your routine, you're boosting that metabolism. And hey, it helps you, it allows you to eat more, which is really nice too. Last one here and rest. All right, come on up. We're gonna go into our seated torso rotations. So sitting up nice and tall, straight spine. In three, two, one, let's go. Now we're focusing on the oblique muscles and basically your entire core. We're focusing on the muscles underneath the fat. So many times people ask me, how can we get rid of our belly fat? That really comes down to a really good diet but then also making sure that you're getting your strength training in, you're getting in your cardio, and you're eating right. All of it matters. Keep going. You have 10 more seconds. You have three, two, one, and rest. Woo. All right, take a quick sip of water. I hope you are feeling the work in your body. Maybe you're breaking a sweat like I am. Really, really good. All right, so now we've made it to our final round. This is your opportunity to really challenge yourself within the 45 seconds. If you wanna go until failure where you can't do another rep with good form, like this is the opportunity to do it and challenge yourself and see what you got, all right? So six minutes of work and we will get to cool it down. So let's go ahead, feet shoulder distance apart. We take off in three, two, one. Let's go down and up. Let's make sure that this is the lowest squats you got. 
and make sure that you really focus on your form because when we get tired, we start to get lazy and then that's when the injuries happen. So please be aware of what your body is doing. Get that booty down, let's go. Keep going. And rest. Awesome job. All right, from here, reverse lunge with our bicep curl. Let's take off in three, two, one. Let's go. Drop it down, curl, and come back up. Can you get that knee like one inch off the floor? Can you do it? Burn out those legs. Make sure that front knee is in line with the ankle, not the toe. Heel should be down in that front leg, in the front foot. And then you're just on the ball of the foot in the back. Keep that chest proud. And rest. Nice work. All right, let's go into our wide squat to oblique crunch. So heels and toes out, palms facing in. In three, two, one, let's go. Bring it down and up. Trying to get super, super low with good form. Getting into those inner thighs. Now make sure you're breathing, okay? If you're holding your breath, it makes this so much harder. <laughs> Inhale through the nose, exhale out through the mouth. Think positive thoughts. Think empowering thoughts. You're strong and you're getting stronger. Keep going, last one here and rest. All right, let's head down to the floor. Hit bridge with our chest press. So let's bring it on down. Knees are shoulder distance, starting at the bottom of your chest press in three, two, one. Let's go. Press it up. Now make sure there's a space in between your chin and your chest. You should be able to fit an apple or an orange. Keep those shoulders away from the ears. Squeezing those butt cheeks together. Hamstrings are also getting a great workout in this move too. Keep up the great work. and rest. Hey, guess what? We're here, final exercise. Let's get to it. Seated torso rotations in three, two, one. Let's go side to side, maybe coming down a little bit more. If you wanna take a extra challenge, lift those feet up. Oh yeah, definitely much harder to stabilize your body. Keep it up, keep it going. You're almost halfway, you're about halfway actually. Make sure your chest and your eyes are going side to side as well. Less than 10 seconds. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness, you made it. Nice work. Let's go ahead and stretch everything out, shall we? Let's come into a wide-legged forward fold. So toes are pointing forward, drop that head down, and then just relax 
the shoulders, the lower back, the neck. Feel that stretch in those hamstrings. This should feel so good. And just breathe. From here, let's bend into those knees, rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Head comes up last. We did a lot of legs today, so let's stretch that out. Plant one foot, bring this hand out, quad stretch. You're gonna bring those knees to touch. Connect to your core. We worked on that today, so that should help you with your balance. But if you need to, grab onto a chair or a wall. And then slowly release. Let's switch sides. Bring it in. Now is the time to start calming the nervous system down. Nice big inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. Great. Let's release. Clasp those fingers together. We're gonna pull those hands forward as you round the shoulders, chin to chest, separating the shoulder blades. Inhale, hands come up. And then exhale, find a twist or a, a side reach rather. Opening up the chest here, breathing into this left lung and then reaching to stretch out the abs and the obliques. Come back to center and switch. Awesome, from here let's clasp those fingers together back behind us and then you're gonna pull those hands down as you open up the chest, getting a nice stretch in the shoulders, triceps. And let's finish off with two big deep breaths. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, let it go and inhale, hands up. Exhale, let it go, awesome job. Thank you so much for working out with me today. If you enjoyed today's workout, please go ahead and like this video, comment below, and let me know how you feel. As always, I am going live or uploading a new workout video every single week, so make sure that you've subscribed and hit that notification bell. And if you want more workouts from me, check out JJF On Demand. It's my on-demand subscription program where you get access to all of my classes and custom programs and plans depending on your specific goals. So make sure to check out the description below where you can get a seven-day free trial plus 10% off your first month using the code SLAY2021. If you still want more workouts, workouts and want to sweat it out with me, check out this video here. And as always, I will see you on the next one.